It's tough to figure out what your beliefs are, no matter who you are. And it's even more difficult in today's society where thousands of people are posting their opinions every second. So how do you keep yourself from getting lost in the chaos? One way is to start following a religion. When I was just starting elementary school, my family and I tried out a few religions. None of them fit. Then we found a Unitarian Universalist church near us, and we've managed to attend this church somewhat consistently for the past 10 years. Then when I was in ninth grade, I made the decision to go on a trip with a few kids from my church and kids from other UU churches in our district. I had no idea what I signed up for, but this ended up being one of the most life-changing experiences I've had. It was a 10-day trip to visit Hopi and Navajo reservations in Arizona and New Mexico. It was difficult to explain to my teachers and peers that this trip was not a mission trip at all. It was purely just to be immersed in a different culture and learn from one another. I met some of the best people I know on this trip, so of course I wanted to do more. The following summer, I went to a week-long camp with other UU youth. Since then, the loving and welcoming environment has kept me coming back for every event in the past two years. UUism has helped me find my beliefs, create my perception of the world, and make decisions based off those beliefs and perception. By definition, Unitarian Universalism is a free and open-minded religion. Because the UU community is so diverse, it's not uncommon for different people to have different definitions of UU. UUism. So I sat down with a variety of people I'd met in the UU community over the past few years and asked them to define UUism. I would imagine you get a different answer from everyone you ask. For me, it's definitely religion. It's not just a spirituality. Religion comes from the Latin meaning that which binds. And so it's not about dogma, it's not about creed, it's about what creates community. And for us, it's covenant. It's the promises we make for, with one another, the promises we break, and how we make amends. I would define UU, well, mostly I define it as basically an atheist church, um, but in reality, it's more spiritual than anything. Originally, UUism was founded in the U.S. in 1961 under the UUA, or Unitarian Universalist Association. But before that, Unitarianism and Universalism were separate religions. The Universalist Church of America was founded in 1793, and the American Unitarian Association was founded in 1825. However, there are also traces of Unitarianism that date back to 16th century Transylvania. Unitarians believe in individual freedom and equality. They spend a lot of time exploring other religions, faiths, and looking at science in order to find their own truths. Unitarians are united by their shared values, which include the nurture of life's spiritual dimension, the good and honest search for the truth, mutual respect and goodwill in personal relations, tolerance and openness towards others, peace, compassion and democracy in human affairs, respect for the earth, and a belief in a oneness. This oneness is often described as God in many other religions, but many Unitarians will label it as the universe or simply a higher power instead of God. The Unitarian community was largely made up of upper class people, which is why there's a lot of information about it. Universalism, on the other hand, was largely made up of lower class people, so they didn't have the money to document the history of Universalism. And they didn't have as many political and economic ties as the Unitarians. Universalists had small congregations. They believed in a singular God, that God is love and nobody goes to hell. The Five Jagged Rocks, which are a belief system that's used in UUism today, originally came from Universalism. As time went on, both religions realized they had more and more in common, so they combined into Unitarian Universalism in order to have a stronger voice. Today, there are over a thousand congregations in the U.S. and about 800,000 people who identify as UUs worldwide. While there are lots of people who are lifelong UUs, many become UUs later in life and for a variety of reasons. Uh, sometimes they're born into it, like myself. I'm a lifelong UU, third generation. Uh, Leah Atherton, another sponsor here, is a third generation UU. Uh, others come because they leave uh, their current faith and come to Unitarian Universalism as a salve, as a means of getting away from the dogma, the creedalism, the uh, patriarchal uh, approach. Also, people come to it just as seekers. I can't tell you how many stories I've heard of people saying, I'm 40, I wish I'd known that this religion existed when I was a teenager or when I was in college or, you know, fill in the blank. And so those are the stories that really break my heart when people uh, don't discover Unitarian Universalism until much later in life. Whenever I get asked this question, I never know how to respond because in my opinion, UUism is like sort of a mix of everything. Like everybody's very accepting and comforting and it's always like a safe place. 
Huh, fun story. I actually went to uh, a Catholic school for my first uh, two years of schooling, and that was uh, not fun. And uh, that was in West Virginia, so it was like conservative Catholic. And then, like a year later, we went to a UU church in West Virginia, and it was like so incredibly different. And I was instantly just, you know, ready for it. I had heard about Unitarian Universalists actually when I was... Jake's age, I went to basically a con and um, it was in Georgia. And so I I had an idea, although I grew up unchurched largely, but for a long time, like Jake said, when we lived in West Virginia, Jake's mom and I were both river guides. And we used to say that being on the river was our church. And we had a good friend who was also a river guide and he was telling us about Unitarian Universalism. I asked him what it was like and he looked around the river and said, it's like this, but as a religion. Many U.S. presidents and civil right advocates are said to be UUs, or at least have an ideology relating to UUism. A few examples would be John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry David Thoreau, Louisa May Alcott, Susan B. Anthony, and Thomas Jefferson. However, some of these can get pretty controversial if you look back on their actions, such as Thomas Jefferson. His dedication to UUism is often debated in the community since he did have slaves. UUs believe in the inherent worth and dignity of every person, which goes against slavery. UUs also believe in equality and acceptance. One's own faith is up to themselves. Well, God is definitely not a guy on a throne in a cloud. You know, we're a plural faith, so some you use have Islamic roots, some have Jewish roots, some have uh, Christian roots, others have pagan roots, some are atheists and humanists. And so, again, you ask someone, what what is God to them? And it can mean a million different things. To me, God is the connection between all things in the universe. I don't believe it's sentient, but I believe that connection exists, and that's what I would call God. The Bible is just another religious text that informs our theological approach to living, to existence, to covenant. It's an important one, but it's not the only one. We draw from the works of Rumi, we draw from the Quran, we draw from the Torah, we draw from humanist writings and scientific teachings. We have six different sources, and uh, our Judeo-Christian heritage, the Bible, is just one of them. I don't believe in God. It's like the universe is like vibing, you know? I was like, mm-hmm. but then like you can push your way out of the vibes, but like the universe will vibe you in the right direction. But like if you don't like that direction, you can just vibe out of it, you know. Um, I personally don't believe in God, but I believe in a higher power that's not like God specifically. My core beliefs, I don't really have that many beliefs, and I don't really believe in God. I believe that there might be something out there, but not like not a man. <laughs> UUs are united by the seven principles and five jagged rocks. The seven principles are each person is important, be kind in all you do, we're free to learn together and search for what is true. All people need a voice, build a fair and peaceful world, and we care for Earth's lifeboat. The five jagged rocks are there is unity that makes us one, all souls are sacred and worthy, courageous love transforms the world, truth continues to be revealed, and salvation in this life. While UUism is a very open-minded and individual religion, some will argue that UUism is not for everyone. Reverend Dr. Tony Larson says, My friends, not everyone can be a Unitarian Universalist. Not everyone should be a Unitarian Universalist. Because the first criterion for getting into this church is you've got to know how to sin. That's very important to us, and not everyone knows how to do it. We don't want people who will never do wicked things. We don't want people who are holier than thee or thou. We don't want people who have made it in the salvation department and are just waiting around to get picked up. Because people with too much heaven in them are hell to live with. Now don't get me wrong, if there are any perfect human beings around, we might let them in. But since there aren't any, anyone who claims he or she doesn't do wicked things is either trying to fool others or just trying to fool themselves. It is the nature of human to be evil as well as good, and you should not be a Unitarian Universalist if you are not willing to admit that to yourself. As you use, we talk about many different ideas and beliefs. Not all of those ideas and beliefs may resonate with each person, but others may guide people's entire lives. The inherent worth and dignity of uh, each person, that's pretty big for me. Also the seventh one about taking care of the earth, that resonates pretty big. You you beliefs are built upon seven principles and 
each reflect a, a different aspect of the life that I want to live. Those who have previously been a part of other religions will often tell you that UUism is completely different in a way from other religions. There's no, what do I believe in? There's no, is this okay if I do this? It's all, what did you personally believe in? Um, I feel like it's a lot more welcoming and not as judgmental. <laughs> no offense to other religions. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Ha. <laughs> It's more like individual, like so you can go on your own spiritual path and it's not really like like you use here to help you out but not like control you. I think UUism is very open. Actually, I know it's open because we aren't pressuring people into one category or statement. It's very open to interpretation. We mostly just focus on our relationship with ourselves and with other people and trying to further that search for meaning. Will you use aspire to be good and kind people? We don't spend our lives perfecting ourselves for our next life. Instead, we spend our time doing what we can to make the world a more accepting and hospitable environment for everyone. At our services, the first thing we talk about is housekeeping. So what's on the calendar, plans for our next services, and if anything's coming up. Then we start to talk about one theme for that day. So far, we've done environmental stuff, death and loss. We talked about the water crisis a while ago you like we can really make a group out of anything we'll choose one theme and we'll read a lot of quotes from famous thinkers religious leaders philosophers people of history on that theme to get a bit of context and then we'll do a couple of readings usually one that reflects a western religious thinkers idea so like a sermon and then something that will reflect like an eastern spiritual take to get two different perspectives on that same theme and then the rest of the time we have discussion as uuism grows as a religion it continues to impact the lives of many people some of my friends have been lifelong UUs and others found it later in life, but regardless, it's impacted the way they view the world. I'm more respectful. Not everybody's accepting of you and you shouldn't try to change yourself for other people to be happy. You should just um, be yourself and find the, pe the right people that will accept you. Um, it's made me a lot more aware of like minorities and like how majorities affect the minorities and like all this stuff. It made me very aware of pronouns and aware of cultural appropriation. Just be aware of other people's cultures and like experiences and not like assume because you don't know what they've gone through, so. Being a UU affected my view of society because of caucusing. We were doing caucusing on race and gender mostly and it showed me the other sides of the story. I heard firsthand people of color talking about their experiences in the world and in even our society that were troubling and hurtful and it helped me become a better person and help other people in my life outside of UU to change the way they act and speak about the different groups in our society as a whole. Through cons and other events provided to the UU youth, we are able to learn and spiritually grow together. The community we've created has given us a home and a place to truly be ourselves. The tightly bonded friendships that are formed here will give us memories that will last a lifetime. This community means a lot to me. It means that like it's a place where I can lean back to whenever like I need help. And, yeah. It means a lot. It means um it means the people who get you. It it means there's no question on if you like fit in. It's a really like healthy community. It's a way for us as teens to grow. Love, friendship. It means a lot to me. It's always been like a safe, comfortable space that you feel accepted in and you can always come to and feel good about yourself. UU means family. They became my family over the course of the many years that I was a part of that program and that group. They knew me like the back of their hand, which is very impactful for me because not many people know me like that. And it means a lot that they were that people for me.
I hope that hearing the story of UUism has inspired you to begin or continue your own spiritual journey. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think. Research and interview sources used in this video can be found in the description below.